before starting this video i just want to tell you that this video is not for kids this video is uh, going to have some disturbing content so if you are someone who is just learning how to code who is learning rust or python or any language and who believe that oh programming is fun well you should just go away this video is for people who are engineers who are experienced people who understand how computers work how internet works well this is only for those people okay so please just go away now i am going to tell you one of the biggest pain i have faced in my life which is last night okay and uh, okay this sounds weird so this pain came from facebook one of the biggest tech company and you think that those people might know how to you know do software engineering uh, you know I, i'm going to show you the peak software engineering okay at facebook but before any of this let me give you some context so last night i just wanted to create a gallery for my website and i ended up making one so this is the picture gallery which i created last night it's so simple it's minimal now in order to make this i was thinking i was just you know thinking what's my idea so i wanted to host these images somewhere and i don't want to host these images on my own vps because i thought you know what i don't want to manage my uh, these all these images by myself i wanted a service something like flickr imager uh, or you know some service then i realized that okay all of these services are bloated let's just use catbox.moe now this is quite cute like 200 mbs are allowed but it's fine there is no ad the api is working and i can just upload i can log in i can create album and it it was fun so i thought yeah catbox might work but then i realized that you know what ah uh, not not catbox you because i have to upload my images here and then i have to copy the url and then maybe i can use some api but i i have to do all of this by myself all right like if i need some image on my gallery then i i need to you know just do something here so this is something i don't want to do so i realized wait a second i already have an instagram account and i'm maintaining this uh because of few reasons so i upload all my images here I thought is there any way I can just mirror this here this is what I did by the way okay so I just wanted whatever image I upload there I just wanted uh, those image to also be present in my you know my website's picture gallery so this is what I wanted quite simple so I thought is this possible now of course Instagram is Facebook so you can't really scrape this which is kind of stupid but maybe you can but I thought let's look for some API so Instagram API so i want for the api i thought all right let's just and there was the api instagram graph api i thought i was happy and then i looked up is there any pricing or anything let's open the dark mode yeah so there was no pricing i thought like okay i can do this so i also wanted to do i wanted to do the max con control so i wanted to upload the post and all but then i realized it's fine like they are not providing if unless you have instagram professional which is those you know instagram creators business accounts stupid accounts all right unless you have one of the, those things uh, as your instagram account you can't really do post you can't really do anything fancy only thing you can do is you can use instagram basic display api which is another instagram api uh, so confusing all right and i was so confused and i i had chat gpt but i was still confused because instagram keep changing okay instagram always change their things so this basic display api allow me to read things okay it it is read only api and uh, i thought all right this is good i can just get my feeds i can get a lot of my stuff okay i can get my followers count and all these stuff so i wanted to use it now this is where facebook comes in all right so in order to use instagram api i had to create an account on facebook because i had to log in on developers.facebook.com now why the hell if somebody wants to use some service by facebook they they have to uh, you know just make a, make account for facebook social media like facebook provide so many services and if some developer just want to you know use one of okay you get it this is stupid but i understand all right they want to increase their number of users it's fine they use the facebook login system instead of instagram uh, i thought it's fine so after that uh you have to find dashboard in this website developers.facebook.com you will try your best and you won't be able to find it okay it was so hard for me to end up on the developers dashboard 
and I had instructions via chat GPT, but still, but somehow I ended up finding this page. Okay, Instagram basic display API um, guides. Okay, maybe guides. All right, these docs are like jungle. You will forget where you are. Everything is so confusing. See, it's all, all right. This is confusing. So I came to this guy. I started following, getting started. I need to get started. And the first step was getting access to in order to use API, you need access token. Now, this is something I understand. Everyone understand. If you are using some API, you need some, you know, some access to that uh, your account or something. Some need to verification. So first, you have to create a Facebook app. So I had a Facebook account. I found. Uh, I went to this developer.facebook.com and let's just skip all this, okay? Because this is going to be. I don't want to disturb you. This is so annoying. And this, I spend my two hours doing this. So just to get access token. You have to first, uh, I don't know, like add platform, then add your URL, website URL, then you, you have to create an app. Actually, there is some something like, yeah, yeah you have to click on my apps and then create a new app. All right. And then after that, you have to configure Instagram basic account because they have so many APIs, so many. They have two, three Instagram APIs and I had to choose the basic Instagram API. Then again, create a new app. Then I had to valid OAuth to redirect URI, I don't even know what this is. I just typed my website and then deauthorize callback URL, fine data deletion request. Okay, I did, I, I just I just typed boxwriter.com, okay? And then add Instagram test user, okay? So here I added Instagram test user and I got a request here. I had to go to settings. Now I'm trying to just make it less pain, sound less painful, but it was so painful. Then I added this soy toy or like this is my app name and i added like i granted myself permission to use this api even though i i will get some access token or something then after tester invites i did accept now listen to this like I, this is a complete joke okay which which is about to uh, get cracked so after doing all this i got here authenticate test user in which i had to provide my u redirect uri and app client id so i already had a client id and the secret still i i don't know what those secrets were but after this i got this pop-up so even though i had i added a tester but i got this pop-up where i had to authorize my instagram and after this i got this code in my url which got re redirected to my website, but I, I just copied the code. I entered the code and I, I had no clue what I was doing, but I was just doing, okay? So I, I gave a client secret, client ID, code, and then, then, I guess then I got an access token. So cool, all right? It's, it's like five steps now. And after half an hour, I realized that this is actually a short term access token. Okay, in order to use your API correctly, you need a long lived access token. So basically, this token is trash, it's useless. Okay, Instagram API basic. So I went again, I, I again looked up, I, 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 I learned about all these things like what is long lived, short, I don't even know if these things are real or made up by Facebook. So here i guess getting started yeah again i went went to getting started and here you will find this guide this this documentation is trash okay it's literally like uh, my last night was just horrors i i know maybe someone might say all right this is not that hard long live page token and i i they never discussed this okay i i realized this after my token got expired so long lived access token in order to get long lived, you have to provide short lived and then you will get a long lived, which is actually just 80 days. All right. Not even 80 days, I guess 60 days. I don't remember. You have to refresh that access token in order to refresh. Now, let me tell you the joke. Let me tell you the joke. I got my access token. I was so happy. Like imagine after doing all this, I got my Instagram access token. I was like, yes, finally I can use Instagram basic API which is, uh, which means I can read stuff. I can read my feeds. I can read how much followers count I have and all these fun stuff. So I'm like getting started is done. After two, three hours, I, I finally, I got started. And then I, I went to guides or references to just see what are the routes I got. And voila, I, I just got three routes, I guess three or two. I, I barely got like two routes. Okay. And one of these routes is so funny you just provide your Instagram user ID and it will tell you the username. 
I don't know what the fuck this route is. It, it's not even written here, like what this route do. I have to find now where is the docs for this route, like the proper docs. Uh, seriously, like uh, where are... Okay, let me show you the another route. So the one route is fresh, just ignore that one. This is the main route, media route. Now this is the route which will give you your profile, not anyone else profile, your profile, captions of images, URL, URL, thumbnail URL is nothing but just for videos, timestamp, username for some reason, para link. It doesn't provide you the likes, number of likes which you get on your account, all right, like on each post. It doesn't provide you comments. It doesn't, this API is not even able to tell you how much followers you have, how much following you have. Why the fuck this API even exists? You can just provide this information for free. I mean, seriously, it, it doesn't even allow you to get to your real URL. I mean, I was like, I, I, I wasted like three hours just to get this access token. Uh, let me show you the JSON, which, uh, which I'm able to get from all this. Uh, wait a second. And you know, the limit, obviously the, these guys are not going to provide all of this, uh, like completely for free. So, uh, you are limited to like in one hour, just 200 calls. Okay. So this is the data which I'm able to get from this API. And this is the only data which you can get. You can't get anything else. I, I looked up, you can't really get anything else. You can just get this data. Now, what is this data? It's just every po po your post, not anyone else post. You get this caption, you get this timestamp, media URL, me that's it, all right? And so basically these links is all I'm getting, like these links. So in some way I was happy that at least, you know, now I don't have to host my images anywhere. I, I'm getting these links from in, in my Instagram. And since there was a call limitation, like uh, what I did in my server is, uh, let me show you. Uh, SSH works at workswriter.com. Uh, okay. So I had this limitation of, uh, number of calls. So I did. So here, what I'm doing is I have this Python script, which is just going to generate this media.json, which is nothing but just uh, this Python script is just going to make a call to my Instagram API and just fetch all the data and just update this. And I'm running a cron job, which is just going to run this script, uh, hourly and that's it so in every hour i'm just going to uh, you know update my media json which is nothing but just the urls which i'm getting and along with the caption and timestamp uh and yeah that's how okay, then i wrote a front end uh, javascript to just you know just display all these images okay See, it it feels so bad just to g use this thing like just to get these images from my instagram i had to do so much now in my life, every time I use any sort of API, it's always straightforward. I just go for something like wall heaven. You just go, you just get the API or you, if you need access token and it's always so simple to get access token with just password. Uh, I understand what, okay. But do I really need a Facebook account to get, even though I already have Instagram account just to use Instagram API, is it okay to, you know, just centralize everything into your one developers.facebook.com? Is it something like, am I missing something or is this really necessary just to get an access token? So much work. I mean, seriously, seriously, I, I'm, I'm done guys. I, I, that's all I have to say.